our investment in art is close to $200 million at this point. And that kind of investment has allowed us to assemble a great art collection. And the opportunity to share that art collection with our guests uh, and have them even know more about it through our tours and our, our visiting lectures and sometimes with the artists themselves coming on board. This is one of my favorite works on the ship. Why? Well, it's pretty simple, but it was a non-commissioned work. It was actually a present from the workers, from the shipyard workers to the ship. It's everywhere, and most people don't realize that. As I try to take the element of, you're on vacation, relax, slow down, take a stroll, look around, and try to point out some things to them that maybe they wouldn't see on their own, and it always happens. This was the very uh, first work of art that was commissioned for the Oasis of the Seas. It's by a woman named Lori Hogan, and it's called Habitat Diorama with Painkillers. Art on Royal is really trying to reinvent, if you will, the, the image of artwork and the art programs on board their vessels. And one of the ways to do that is through an enrichment program. Our very first artist, her name is Lucille Rad. Who's familiar with the artist? Anybody at all? For many people, they've never been to an auction at all, so they don't know what to expect. What we want to do is we want to take that element of intimidation away. We're sold. Go ahead, lose some weight, and give them a great round of applause. Nice so job. many of our guests are intrigued by the art, and they say, how can I buy a piece of that art? So the premise of Art on Royal is really to feature those artists that are proudly displayed across our fleet. And in addition to those artists, we also are, of course, highlighting uh, Romero Brito and, of course, Thomas Kincaid. One of the things I think that is important in making a, uh, any environment uh, warm, inviting, comfortable, is great art. Great art is such an enabler of people, and people enjoy being with it. It's something that's fun to do. But even if you're not immersed in it, um, you're unconsciously aware that you're in the presence of, of such beautiful or warm or comfortable uh, art pieces. I think art, if it's done well, makes people think, makes people uh, feel more comfortable, and I think that makes the experience that extra dimension better. <laughs>